try to understand is where uh, these jellyfish blooms come from and what are the factors uh, that are beneficial for a mass occurrence of jellyfish blooms. Because there is a huge variation actually in the intensities of blooms um, in different seasons and also in different areas. And it's not each year that these massive blooms are occurring. So we are actually uh, trying to find out uh, what are the reasons for a very good or a, a, a year where we find mass occurrences of specific species, whether this is associated to the food which is available, whether some abiotic factors like temperature, salinity, the current patterns, with, whether this plays a substantial role, and also uh, which species uh, form ma these massive blooms in different areas. So the aim of this cruise today is actually to harvest um, jellyfish uh, for the Go Jelly project, to tackle different species of jellyfish, like uh, the moon jellyfish, for example, and the deep water um, jellyfish, Perifylla. What, what we are aiming for is to uh, sample uh, for different purposes. Uh, so first for genetic analysis of the jellyfish uh, we find in order to uh, trace back where the origin of these jellyfish uh, comes from. And another um, idea is actually to uh, sample these jellyfish to find out uh, what their trophic ecology is about. So what they were feeding upon and uh, um, what sort of zooplankton, for example, we find in the water column in relation to the occurrences of the jellyfish.